Monday, March 9, 2020, saw the coronation of the newly elected Speaker of the Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS Parliament, in the person of Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis, who hails from Sierra Leone. But the question on the mouth-watering lips of many would be, who is Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis? Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis was born in Zimi, a small town in Makwele Chiefdom, Pujon district in the southern province of Sierra Leone. His father was Alhaji Mohamed Ahmed Tunis and mother was Aja Masa Masakoi Tunis. Both parents hailed from Fairo, the principal town in Sorobema Chiefdom, Pujon district. Honorable Tunis is the seventh and first male child with 21 siblings. He got his primary education in Zimi, where he sat to the selective entrance examination and came out with flying colors. He attained his secondary school education in Kenema Town, eastern province of Sierra Leone, at the Islamic Secondary School, where he got his O-level. In the early 80s, young Honorable Tunis advanced to Liberia to stay with relatives, where he pursued his tertiary education at the Cottonton University and graduated with a chemistry degree. Honorable Tunis started his political career with the National United Party, NUP, where he was chosen to be the National Secretary General as a young man in his early 30s. Honorable City Tunis has a history of working in the investment management industry, having been one of the few Sierra Leoneans to own buses at the time, as he was owner of Fodia Tours and later Bila Tours in the early 90s. He also operated a mining business and construction company with an international outfit called Fortra Myers Limited. Honorable Tunis is married to Honorable Nabila Tunis and they are blessed with kids. The Speaker-elect of the ECOWAS Parliament, Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis, is the Member of Parliament representing Constituency 101 in Pujaun District, Southern Region of Sierra Leone. He was first elected as MP for the same constituency in 2002 when it was constituency 091. Honorable Tunis had an abrupt hiatus in his MP political career when he was denied the SLPP symbol to contest in the 2007 parliamentary election for his constituency. But as destiny could have it, he was again awarded with the symbol for the same constituency in the 2012 parliamentary election, which he won, giving him the opportunity to resurface in the Sierra Leone parliament in a grand style. By that time, Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis was the minority chief whip for his Sierra Leone People's Party till 2017. Upon his SLPP party's winning the 2018 presidential election and upon his third election as member of parliament for constituency 101, Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis was chosen to be the leader of government business in the Sierra Leone parliament. Honorable Mohamed Sidi Tunis being the speaker of the ECOWAS parliament. The speakership of Honorable Tunis in the ECOWAS Parliament was occasioned by the President of Sierra Leone, Julius Marabio, who publicly endorsed the candidature of Honorable Tunis. This happened in late 2019 in a video played to the extraordinary session of ECOWAS in Liberia, dashing the hopes of many who had once abhorred the confidence of seeing the leader of the main opposition, All People's Congress APC Party, Honorable Chair Nomajuba for the ECOWAS Parliament Speakership. This was much anticipated even by Honorable Ba by virtue of his having served as a member of the ECOWAS Parliament since 2012 to date and doubles as the head of the Sierra Leone delegation to the ECOWAS Parliament. It is important to note that Honorable Tunis's election as Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament came by default because Sierra Leone was next in line to the succession for the enviable position as per the ECOWAS protocol. Honorable Tunis emerged as the sole candidate from Sierra Leone and was inaugurated as the Speaker of the 5th Legislature of the ECOWAS Parliament for a period of four years following the end of the tenure of Senegal's Mustafa Sisi Lowe.
as Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament, Honorable Tunis, will be directing the business of the Parliament and its organs. He will be presiding over meetings and conduct debates in accordance with the provisions of the rules of procedure. And exactly so, Honorable Tunis has smoothly sailed the ship of the ECOWAS Parliament for the past one year, and his tenure has to a very large extent heralded a new dawn to the ECOWAS Speakership. This is being seen in the way Honorable Tunis has maneuvered in diverse ways to bring the ECOWAS Parliament to the people within the community of West African states like Nigeria, Liberia, Mali, Sierra Leone and more. Recently, the President of Sierra Leone recognized the hard work of Honorable Tunis over the years and awarded him Grand Commander of the Republic of Sierra Leone, the highest honor in the land, adding more feathers to his cap. Honorable Sidi Mohamed Tunis was awarded honorary doctorate degree at the Cottonton University in Liberia is alma mater. However, His Excellency Sidi Mohamed Tunis's tenure as Speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament is being challenged by the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic and he himself has confirmed that the Parliament has realized the reality of a region that has been devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. In a statement at the opening session of the decolonized meeting of the ECOWAS Parliament Joint Committee, the ECOWAS Speaker said the border closures, lockdowns, and curfews intended to slow the spread of the disease have disrupted supply chains that even under normal circumstances struggled to keep markets well stocked. Meanwhile, Honorable Tunis noted that despite this apparent challenge, member states must identify means by which they can support and complement the work of the ECOWAS Commission in mitigating the negative impact of COVID-19 on agricultural production and food security in the region.